Hi, I'm Raul. Welcome to OpenLP Guru, a set of video tutorials where I take you through how to use OpenLP's features. In today's episode, we'll be looking at loading media like videos into OpenLP and displaying them in your service. As I mentioned in the last video, my dark color scheme is from my operating system, not OpenLP. I use a KDE Plasma 5 desktop on Debian Unstable Linux and I have it configured to use the Breeze Dark theme. If you're interested in this, I'll leave a link down below in the video description. Just like all the other media types in OpenLP, to import a video you need to open the media section in the library and click on the import icon. Browse to where your video file is, select it and click the open button. Once OpenLP has imported your video, it will appear in the list in your library. OpenLP can also load and display video clips from DVDs. If you're using OpenLP version 2.4.6, you will need to have VLC installed on your computer and set as the primary media player. Later versions of OpenLP from version 3 onwards come with VLC pre-installed. To load a clip from a DVD, click the DVD icon. The Select Media Clip window will open. Select the DVD device from the drop-down, it's actually usually pre-selected, and then click the Load Disk button. The Track Details group box will be populated with the titles and track information from the DVD. Select the title you want to grab a clip from, and potentially the audio track you want. With those selected, Use the slider underneath the preview window to move to where you want to start the clip. Check that the start point is correct and click the set start point to set it. Next, use the slider to go to the place where you want to stop and click set end point. With a starting point and an ending point selected, Click the Save button to save the clip to OpenLP and then click the Close button to return to the main window. To add a video to the service, like with all the other media types, just drag and drop it. You can also right click on the video and select Add to Service from the context menu. Like other items in the service, double clicking on the video in the service will display the video. The video will start playing automatically. Use the video controls in the live slide controller to pause or stop the video. That's all for this episode. In the next episode, we'll look at creating and displaying custom slides. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please click the subscribe button below the video and click the bell icon to be notified of when I next post a video. Goodbye and God bless.